Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now, today I was uh, on the Deuce bus on my way back to downtown, right? Because I live here in downtown. So basically, I was on the bus minding my own business, right? And then these two very attractive girls came and sat in the seats in front of me. Now, they were speaking what I believe to be Portuguese, right? I'm guessing. Okay, so I'm minding my own business and uh, because they're sitting so close I cannot help but to notice that out of their purse they took out a pouch and on that pouch was written Oh, thank you It was written Planet 13 Now I'm not going to say what they sell You know, because this is a food and travel channel you Can't say these things, right? And then out of that sealed pouch they took up another pouch labeled something about a type of uh, gummies, right? I'm not going to say what type of gummies is a food and travel channel, right? So I'm selling them, trying to mind my own business. So they're eating the gummies, right? And then they ate the gummies and all of a sudden, the girl in front of me, the hair started like coming flying around out at me. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I was like fighting the hair, fighting the hair. Guys, I'm telling you, right? That's what happens when you eat that type of gummies. All right, so now here I am at the El Cortez Seagulls 1941 with their prime rib special. Guys, take a closer look. It's looking terrific today, guys. I got my salt and pepper going on. Ketchup for my fries, which is uh, genuine Heinz. You know, you know it's a good restaurant when they have genuine Heinz, not some off-brand ketchup. All right, so first let's try the prime rib cap. I asked for medium rare. It cuts so easy, guys. Mmm. 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 I don't need to put any salt on it. It seasoned it so well. It's so tender. It's a 9.5, guys. It's delicious. Oh, my heavens. I'm gonna try another piece of this cat. Look at how nice and uh, browned it is wow mm. melt in your mouth goodness all right so let's try some of these uh fries they got here Decent neutral fries. Give that a 7.5. All right, now let's try the vegetables. You're wondering, Dan the medic, are you really gonna eat the vegetables? Well, I'll tell you the truth right now. I only got like three things here, right? The fries, the prime rib, and the vegetables. If I don't try the vegetables, the video would be too short. So, vegetables guys, I'm taking one for the team. Disgusting. It may be a little undercooked. Try the carrot.
it definitely is a little undercooked. The uh, carrots, the center was a little raw. It still got the crunch to it, that carrot crunch. All right, let's try this yellow thing. Yellow thing, guys. All right, so I'll tell you, the yellow thing is also a little bit undercooked. Well, now, uh, so I'll give the uh, vegetables a five. All right, now let's move on to the cap of the prime rib. I'll flip it over here to get to this side of it. Ooh, it looks a little bit more cooked on this side. All right, cut off this edge. All right. The eye portion gets a eight. It's okay. It's, it's, it's pretty darn good for, for, for what it is. But the uh, cap is where the flavor is. You know, the ribeye cap. Oh my goodness, so good, so good, guys. So overall, this whole thing, it, it'll average out to like an 8.8 .8 maybe. Mm. Now, this place comes with uh, creamy horseradish. Long, long time ago, many years ago, I came to uh, El Cortez Seagulls in uh, 1941 and it was the first time I ever had creamy horseradish with beef many years ago. No other restaurant before then had uh, given me that. And believe it or not, that was uh, a time I came with tongue, right? Yeah, that was way before YouTube or anything like that. Long, long time ago. And then I was like, wow, why would they give it? And Tung bet me a quarter that it is for the prime rib. I think I lost that bet or something like that. So here we go. Some horseradish with the eye portion. Let's see how Tung loves it like that. He comes here just for the horseradish. Me, not so much. I think it makes the prime rib taste worse. With the horseradish, I'll give it a seven. So if it would have came smothered in horseradish, I'd be like, ah, oh, no thanks, you know. So now, I have an opportunity to taste over here a piece of just fat. That's right, guys, I'm running out of ideas for today's video. Just the fat. It's probably going to be the best thing. You never know these things, guys. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's just like the Wagyu A5 I had the other day with Dan Su. Make sure you check out that video. Mmm. Because Wagyu A5 is just a boatload of fat. A little bit of meat. You know, so this piece of fat that is like very similar, in my opinion. Mm. All right, I'm gonna call this the end of the video. Thank you for watching, guys. New Vegas video every Friday, and remember, El Cortez Seagulls 1941 Prime Rib Special. Delicious. Tap water.